Welcome back to Orange Hat Reviews. I am doing this video because I, it came to light from a friend of mine, Lyndon Howe. So shout out to you, Lyndon. He's part of the Full Aussie. And there's this woman named, or who goes by Anna Marie. And she's a verified account, but she also comes off as a very bigoted and hateful individual. This was, or this is a part of the whole OneRing.net controversy. So, consider this like a continuation. Anyway, this woman posted a huge thread during the, or because of the OneRing.net's fake controversy. So, this is a well-intentioned but nightmarish tweet, and I'm going off private to talk about it, because this is a well-meaning, well-meaning, <clears throat> because this, this well-meaning and wildly def deceitful liberalism is why people of color and queer folks are so fundamentally unsafe in Tolkien fandom. Uh, what? I don't think people care what you got between your legs or who you're banging. If you're a Tolkien fan, if you know the lore, that's awesome. So, she then said, we shouldn't sanitize stories or their authors. We shouldn't sanctify that which was harmful. Tolkien was a rich, upper-middle-class, cishet, cishet, white Catholic man in 20th century England. He was racist as shit. He was probably homophobic. Well, you just defeated your argument. You stated he was racist as a certainty. You're wrong. He deliberately based orcs on Mongols. Wrong again. He didn't base orcs on Mongols. He created a fictional race to be an epitome of evil. That's all he did. But, yeah. Um, let's see where the next part of this is. His caste system and descriptions of the elves are explicitly colorist. His Easterlings are literally racial stereotypes. Wrong again. His women, though written adoringly, were far and few between. My God. We do not have to erase to engage. Read that again. We do not have to erase to, en erase to engage. This is what we've lost the plot on in all these years of rapid-fire online discourse in the digital binary characters and works and people are good or bad are allowed to exist or are damned. Acting like Disney, Tolkien, Star Wars, etc. were never racist doesn't help us. Or acting like they weren't ever racist. This woman is a psychopath. Entertainment is not our path to liberation. Pretending the racism away is not revolutionary. The author was problematic. How? You have yet to provide receipts on how he was problematic. The work is problematic. How is it problematic? Because it doesn't fit your narrative? Well, that's your problem. Avoid it if you wish. Feel free to hate it. Engage with it if you wish. But do it honestly. Love it, but critically with open eyes. Uh, it was a masterpiece written in the 20th century by the greatest author of the 20th century. What do white-run accounts gain from doing shit like this? These blatant lies validate the tantrum of unhinged right-wingers, oh, here we go with the politics, and are a slap in the face of, to marginalized fans who are already shit on in a frankly white supremacist fandom. Really? Boy, I better tell my friends who are POCs, not or black, Hispanics, and whatnot, who absolutely adore Tolkien, that they're white supremacists, because I'm guessing they didn't get the memo. You fucking retard Anna Marie, or Anna Maria. I mean, she just goes on here, folks. Would Tolkien have non-bigoted beliefs now? I don't know. I don't fucking care, she says. Because he's dead, and frankly, Middle-earth doesn't belong to him anymore. Fuck you. 
His stories are a part of the collective imagination of an ever-expanding mythos. <laughs> wow. As Tolkien intended in asterisks. Wrong! You see, um, Tolkien wrote a mythology that he himself wanted to read. If you had half a brain cell in your gray matter, you would have realized this, but you're too fucking retarded and held back and hindered by your own bigoted bullshit to understand this. I don't need some white liberal telling me that Tolkien was an uwu ally. He wasn't. What the fuck is an uwu? UWU. What the f This person doesn't even know how to talk. He wasn't, and I'm so, so sick of fans with structural power playing these useless mind games so that they can feel personally vindicated by the media they love. Y'all are as dishonest as the right. She's attacking liberals, too. <laughs> Whoever this person is, they're just a nutcase. They belong in a loony bin. Full, tight, straitjacket and all. And besides Rando's finest, or and before Rando's finest, I'm absolutely in love with Middle Earth. Apparently not, if you don't know shit about it. I reread Tolkien's entire Legendarium, and watched all the movies and apprentice or appendices annually. I made color-coded Sil or Silmarillion flashcards for fun. Leave me alone. Laugh my ass off. Also. Oh my god, I fully quote tweeted the wrong tweet in this thread. This is what I was responding to, the whole if you think that Ian McKellen was the worst bull stuff. Oh my gosh, this woman couldn't even get her goddamn quote, quote tweet right. And then here's this last one. What do white run accounts gain of doing shit like this? These blatant lies validate the tantrum of the unhinged right-wingers and are a slap in the face to them. Oh, yeah, that one. And OneRing.net actually responded. Great thread that stems from a core misunderstanding on the word woke. It's history and its current weaponized usage. The word woke. Oh, my. Not even going to engage. Yeah, and also, I think it's really, really important that we don't erase harm from works and people we love. The real truth is that it doesn't matter whether Tolkien would have tweeted pride flag emoji in support of McCall Ian McKellen, you know? The fact is that so many brown and black people adore Lord of the Rings shows that acknowledging the bad doesn't mean we still we can't still love it. Times change and so do stories. Wrong. Tolkien's work should never change. It should never pander. It should never give in to the woke ideologies of bullshit identity politics that is today's culture. Tolkien was right to do what he did, which was write a mythology not caring about identity politics because it wasn't important. It was a British mythos, so he used British things. He used his experiences during the war he used the Bible, he used all sorts of different things as inspiration for his writing. But this crazy, bigoted bitch, hating on everyone of every race, basically, except for her own, by the name of Anna Maria, and no, I am not letting, or saying that anybody should go attacking this girl. She locked her Twitter account, so you can't see what the hell she says anyway, because she's a coward. But yeah, I wouldn't even endorse going after her because she's not worth it. And she's a bigot. I would have reported her, absolutely, for this entire schlock of hateful, vile bigotry. But the thing is, folks, she absolutely has no idea what she's talking about. She is a retard. She is held back and hindered by her own vile bigotry. And I think that the OneRing.net rightfully erased some of their tweets because they realized that they stepped on the race 
baiting wagon and the racial bandwagon that you really don't want to do. You see, I am a Tolkien fan. I have the 75th edition of The Hobbit. I have the trilogy, the entire Lord of the Rings trilogy and the one novel. I have the Silmarillion and I have the un or his Unfinished Tales. I am working to complete the collection. It is all up north where I live. However, I am down here visiting my aunt. But yeah. And while I've always loved Tolkien's work and how well it is written, not once did I get the idea that he was using different races to represent anything in the real world. Because Middle-earth has no connection to the real world. Middle-earth was meant specifically as a mythos to British folklore. And anybody who thinks otherwise is fooling themselves into thinking that they're a Tolkien fan when they're really not as much as one as they would think. Anyway, folks, that is going to be my video. You all know the drill. Like, comment, subscribe, share, all that jazz. Let me know your thoughts down in the comment section below. What do you think of this vile bigotry that I had to read out loud? I am very sorry for anybody who... or whose ears are bleeding from this nonsense. But yes, let me know your thoughts. This has been Orange Hat Reviews. Stay humble.